What's good? This your boy Boss. I want to thank you for checking out my channel. This is Boss Reviews. And the first review for today that we're going to do is Dej Loaf. Go Dej Go. Volume 1. So, since this is my first review, let me break it down how we're going to do this review. We're going to have four mics. One mic means it's trash. Don't waste your time. Two mics mean it's mediocre. It's maybe one or two good songs on the project. Three mics mean it's good. Half the songs on the project is good. It's a good project. And four mics mean it's a great project. Go listen to that bitch right now. So, without further ado, let's get into Dej Loaf. Go Dej Go Volume 1. Now, I know a lot of people have been wondering, well, I've been wondering, where the hell has Dej Loaf been? For those of y'all that don't know, Dej Loaf popped off maybe, I want to say maybe three or four years ago. She had a big single, and then she got signed to Columbia Records, and that was the beginning of her downfall. A lot of artists get signed well, put out a good song, a song that catch on, go viral. A lot of people start listening to it. Then here you go. You got the labels calling, trying to get these people to sign. And she did. She signed to Columbia Records. And after she signed to Columbia Records, it was a wrap. You didn't really hear that much more Days Loaf music. She put out maybe two or three other EPs, if I'm not mistaken. They didn't really get the buzz that you would expect from people. Uh, I don't even think she, I don't even think she felt like that was her real that was her core music. And I don't think even think her core fans felt like this was the Dej Loaf that they fell in love with. So now we hear 2018, well it's 2019, but she dropped this in December of 2018. Go Dej Go, volume one. She's no longer on Columbia Records. She's independent, as far as I can tell, because this project was released on Yellow World, which is her label, through an independent distribution company. So, let's get to it. This project has six songs, and I love all six songs. This is the Dej Loaf that I fuck with. This is the Dej Loaf that I think a lot of people fuck with when she first came out with her first song. And I think she's finally got back to the person that she she was and the person she started out as. I think what happens when a lot of artists get signed, they kind of lose themselves. And I don't know if that's more on the fact that of them thinking that, oh, I'm signed, so now I got to do this. Or if it's the labels in their ear telling them, oh, make a song like this, work with this person, you know, shit like that. So it shit get confusing, and then in return, us as consumers, we get shitty music in return. So I don't fuck with that. But on this project, six songs fucks with it. The standout songs on this project, I got three. I could down there say the whole album, but the standout three songs for me is the intro, which is Big Shit Talker. Then another song called Bullshit. And then another song called Who Gonna Stop Us. If you go check out these three songs, I guarantee you will fuck with these songs. Now, as far as beats go, the production on this project was good. I fuck with all the beats, damn near all the beats, if I can recall, of uh, this project. She got some pretty good beats. I don't think, I didn't really hear no... Um, quote-unquote, A-list, fancy producer like DJ Mustard and all that. That's why a lot of, that's, that's another reason why a lot of people, where a lot of people go wrong with music. They come in the game fucking with these unknown producers and cultivate a sound that everybody start fucking with. As soon as they sign on the dotted line, oh, I need to go get Timberland. Well, Nobody want to go get Timberland these days. But you know what I'm saying? They want to go get the hot producer. Fuck all that. 
stick to your guns and stay with the people that came up that you came up with and you fucking make the sound with. So I feel like she went to some unknown producers on this project and it paid off the beats of fire. So to recap, Dage Loaf, Go Dage Go, Volume One. I'm finna give y'all how many mics I give her. Drum roll, please. I get this four mics. Great project, six songs. I can't wait to hear the next volume. Is she gonna do it? She caught us on volume one. Maybe it's a volume two on the way. I can't wait to hear this shit. If you've been a Days Low fan, I highly recommend you go check this project out. If you kind of on the fence and you like maybe one or two songs from Days, but you kind of want to get on, get into it, this is the project to get. Go Days Go. Volume 1. I'll leave a link down in the description that you can click on and check the project out. It's on all streaming services. Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, Tidal. Might be even, even on SoundCloud. YouTube Music. That's where I listen to my music at. So It's everywhere. Four mics. Go Days Go from Days Love. This your boy. I'm signing off and I'll see y'all on the next review. And the next review will be Currency and Freddie Gibbs, Fetty. See y'all on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. If you fuck with me, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and you can catch every review your boy drop. I'm out of here. Thank you.